Hi guys, welcome to a Epic PC review. This is a review on the HTC Mozart. It is my newest phone and I've just come from an HTC Magic running Android and it's quite, oh, I'd say it's very different to the Android operating system and the iPhone operating system. Um, I've used both and there's nothing really wrong with them but this is all about integration and that's what I like about it. So I'll explain that as I go through the video but this is your basic home page, so you get to sort out what you, you know, where you want tiles to go. And the tiles aren't just static, they're all, as you can see, one or miss calls. They're all dynamic, so if you've got messages, it'll show you you've got messages. If you've got stuff in your calendar, it'll show you what's the next thing coming up in the calendar. Um, if you've got stuff in the marketplace that needs to be downloaded, it'll show you that. And if you've got alarms, it'll show you that. So they're all dynamic tiles, uh, which is good it means that you can actually browse through your phone without going into every single thing and checking to see if you've got any emails or checking to see you've got this and that and the other. So we'll run through it. The call, this thing, hasn't basically changed. It's the same on every phone. This is a call log that you can go into. It shows all your calls as you've made them. Um, nothing special there. The people tab is quite different in terms of it has all of your contacts, and there's Facebook status updates. You've got all of your recent calls and then all of your contacts there. So that is one thing from the People's tab that you have. Uh, I will show you more of that without breaching too many people's privacies, but this is my own Facebook page and it shows all the status updates. It's, it's pretty much integrated Facebook in here, um, which is good. It shows you all your stuff like and it's pretty fast, like I just uploaded that from, from Facebook. It's not actually on my phone physically. And uh, these are my new soccer boots actually. These are my F50 White Lightnings, which is, has just been a fantastic boot. And you can just sort of scroll through it if you want it to sort of appear bigger. And it just loads pretty fast, which is, I'd say it's pretty incredible for, for the connection that I have, it's pretty dodgy. So it preloads a lot of con content and if you and obviously you can pinch zoom stuff and it's pretty flawless there's no lag in this phone um, I used to get a lot of lag with Android but that was probably because my phone is a bit slower but this is pretty fluid all right so we'll go back to the, the home page and as you can see oh look I've got an email from Epic PC they're both Gmail accounts and you can use as many email accounts as you want you can have this entire thing filled with different email accounts uh, and you can click into it and look at you know who's been emailing you and stuff like that and just go through it usually I get a lot of YouTube service stuff but all right so as we go through the phone uh, Internet Explorer we'll have a look at that basically it's pretty fluid it just you know I'm on my own website at the moment and it just loads pretty fast and you just go through it like you usually would anything else pinch zoom even just yeah, going through it like that it's very fluid it's very intuitive uh, no problems there you press the home button to get back to your back to this we'll go through the calendar now the calendar it gives you basically everything that you've done that day this is running off Gmail this one you can have it run off Yahoo or Outlook whatever you use uh, and it shows your agenda for the day as well just by switching across um, if you click on that, you can use December, November. It's it's very easy to navigate through, and keeps you organised, I suppose. The pictures now this is a pretty major major part. It it basically sorts out everything that you want. Like let's say, and it's just it's fairly good in terms of just flicking through things. You know, easy. Uh, it's just a very nice clean interface and it shows all your, your friends pictures on Facebook as well automatically puts them there now one thing I don't like is this these blank things that I'm never going to use SkyDrive, camera roll and mobile photos from Windows Live I'm never going to use those ever because I have Facebook and I don't get it and these are, it actually automatically puts all of your Facebook albums on your phone so if I was to say look at photos from when I went to Austria it would come straight up and there's no wait time it's not actually saved on the phone 
and uh, you can see all of my Austro photos like that. That's me, by the way, I look like a ninja. But yeah, snowboarding in, in Austria was incredible. It was, it was such a good experience. I'd, I'd go there again in a heartbeat. Anyways, uh, so yeah, that's, that's another good feature is that you don't have to sort out, if you've got a neat and tidy Facebook, uh, this phone is going to be a breeze for you. So that's, that's the, the photo. So let's have a look at Zoom. I didn't like being forced to use Zoom. I didn't like being forced to use iTunes when using my girlfriend's iPod. Uh, but I mean, you get used to it, and it's just a decent way, I suppose, to sort your songs out. And once you've made your playlists, you can pin them to the start menu just by holding pin to start, and you know, there they are. So you can just get one touch into your music that you like. Uh, obviously, you can see the YouTube player and stuff is there, but I mean, yeah, Zoom's not too bad, and in You've got videos and podcasts and radios all integrated into the phone. Uh, fairly, fairly standard there. The maps is something different with this. And come on, find me. So we're gonna go. Bam! It's found me right in Fortune Valley in Brisbane. And I suppose like anywhere in the Brisbane, like if you zoom all the way in, it sort of just gives you a direct satellite view of where where you are. And that's not bad, uh, as a good sort of, uh, I don't mind being maps, but there's just something about it that's just not as refined as, as say, Google Maps. And I think the color scheme is pretty ill-advised. I mean, just, yeah, it all, they're all really light colors. And so you never really have an exact sort of feel to where you are, or at least I feel that way anyway. But but yeah, so I'm sure Google will come up with a Google Maps for, for this, but until then I'll just have to use Bing. Uh, so Maps, and that concludes the end of that trip. All the other stuff is pretty standard. I mean, if like, it's all, it's all very easy to do, like even if you click on that, and then you can just like choose the time. I, I really like the interface and it's just very intuitive to use. God, I wouldn't wake up that early, but... Um, so yeah, I mean even alarms are pretty easy, calculator substandard I suppose, it's not as good, I'd like to see some calendar applications, I mean calculator, ca I'd like to see some calculator applications come out in the, app, the, the store, and, and yeah, so yeah, uh, that's, that's pretty much, that's a very brief overview of this phone, I mean there's heaps of stuff like little hidden stuff that you probably never find out like if you hold down the start menu it brings up speech. Call Eagle Boys. Calling Eagle Boys. All right, so I don't want to really call Eagle Boys because pizza is bad for your health. But, but it's just yeah. So even that, I mean, usually something like that when you're trying to demonstrate it, people would screw up and would call someone else. But the, the voice recognition is is pretty good. That's pretty much that's pretty much the review of this phone. Uh, the only thing that I haven't shown you is the actual phone itself, but. The actual phone itself is becoming less relevant these days because everything is using the same operating system with the around the same specs. But in terms of feel, I mean, it doesn't feel like a toy like some of the other stuff. Like the Samsung Galaxy S, to me, it feels like a toy because it's made out of plastic. Uh, but this, in comparison, it's just got a, a single construction. Like the entire phone is one piece of aluminium that's been crafted out of it. And it just feels really good. It feels quality. Uh, it's a nice weight. It's not too heavy, but it doesn't feel like a toy. Uh, it's got a Xeon flash 8 megapixel camera, which I haven't shown you, um, but it's quite good in terms of film quality, and the photos turn out pretty well. I don't have, I'm using a Desire screen protector at the moment, so it's not really covering everything, but I'm happy enough as is. But yeah, if you are thinking about getting this phone, uh, it is. I think Windows still has a long way to go in terms of interface and, and they're still going to be eyeing and ironing out issues for a long time. The App Store is, for a better description, oh God, I'd say the App Store is pretty dead at the moment. There isn't a lot of development going on. 
Oh, there, there aren't, I didn't see that many apps that would interest me, um, a hell of a lot. But that will change over time. And if you're thinking about getting this phone, I would sort of highly recommend it as it is quite a different approach to the whole integration of the mobile operating system to social networks and just everything. Uh, it's all sort of really coming together with this phone. Uh, you don't have to go through, you know, it brings down emails and, you know, calls and Facebook and social networking and everything and it puts it all into one place for you. Uh, so you don't have to go in through like a million different applications for it, which I thought was pretty good and I find it very useful. So if you are thinking about sort of migrating to Windows 7 phone and or getting this phone, um, I would sort of highly recommend it. I've just, I've been having fun with this phone for the last two days, so I don't think that's gonna change too much. Um, before I do go, Mac Extreme Technology sponsored me with this solid state drive and I'll be doing a review of it next year. Uh, it's going into the Cubu build in a RAID 0 format and it's a 60 gig one so stick around or subscribe because I will be reviewing this and I mean they have sponsored me there's no secret about that but I mean obviously I will be giving out the proper <laughs> performance specifications on the benchmarks and the benchmarks don't lie so have a look for that that's the next video so other than that Merry Christmas and uh, before I go, I can give you a sneak peek of what QB looks like at the moment. Um, all right, let's go. <sighs> do do. It's just been terrible weather lately. It's so bad. It's just been raining all the time. But yeah, <sighs> that's QB at the moment a leg off it because I need to get the fan in and um, that's the back plate at the moment which you guys probably haven't seen but it's getting there which is good enough and we'll guess you'll see more of that next year until then have a very Merry Christmas from me and I will see you guys next year for more epic PC